How do you feel about the team's progress so far? Um, that's crazy. I was just talking to Cameron about that. Um, we both agreed on that. We're making huge strides uh, defensively and offensively. Uh, I think the freshmen are coming up to speed and a uh, new guy. Uh, Chico's coming to speed and even uh, the older guys. I think we're, we're learning a lot. I think the team's making really good progress in the right direction. You mentioned Chico. What have you seen in Mike Cunningham so far? Uh, asks us a lot of questions. He's like a sponge also and uh, he learns quickly. Um, and he's not afraid, not afraid to mess up. So when he makes mistakes, he learns from his mistakes. So uh, I think he's really trying to learn. He's giving his all. And he shoots a lot after practice and before practice. So he's a hard worker. You're a pretty vocal leader yourself, especially in all those drills out there. Have any of the freshmen kind of had a hard time getting used to how vocal you are on the court? Uh, I don't think so. Um, we talk a lot off the court as well. Uh, they know uh, this team, we, we're very uh, communicative off the court as well. It's not just on the court. Uh, what you see on the court really translates to off the court. I think we're really, um, really, uh, we connect really well. So I think uh, me talking off the court really helps them on the court as well. So I think they're very accustomed to me talking a lot. Is it surreal at all to look around and see so many new guys? Uh, it is. Um, I feel like yesterday I was a freshman as well. <laughs> so I feel like um, just yesterday I was a freshman. But yeah, when we look at, when I take a step back and guys do the drills, I do, I'm like, wow, we have a lot of new guys. And this is like a new new chemistry and a whole new team almost. You, you mentioned, you talked about Chico already. What about Isaac? What, what are your impressions of him? What should fans know about him? Uh, he's a hard worker as well. Um, very competitive guy, talks a lot. He's very competitive, which I really like. Um, and he, he, he's a good leader for a freshman. I think he, he tries to help the other freshmen and he even tries to help the older guys. He, anything that he sees, he also communicates as well. He's a big communicator as well. For a freshman, seems he's, like he's not afraid to talk. No, no, not for him. He's a, he's a big communicator. Even uh, when we play like pool and stuff, he talks a lot, which is like a really good thing I like about him. Is there stuff that you and the older guys maybe have kind of learned from the freshman? Um, to, never, to never stop learning. Um, I, know, I know we do a lot of things that since we've been here for three years, uh, this is going on our third year, so we've been here for two other years, um, that we think that we know, not that we know everything, but um, that they just remind us that we're continually learning as well, and that, that we're not, we're far from our, uh, our goal personally and as a team. So the freshmen just remind us to continue to ask questions and continue to get better every single day, just like them. Last time we talked to you, you kind of mentioned your Greek mythology hobby. How did you get into that? Uh, <laughs> the book, Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. Uh, that's a great series. Um, the movies don't do its justice. I'm gonna throw that out there. Uh, that's how I kind of got into it. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Percy Jackson, the demigods. So, shout out to them. <laughs> you have a favorite Greek god or goddess? Uh, that's crazy. Isaac uh, asked me that the other day. He said, would I rather be Zeus, Poseidon, or Demeter? Um, and I chose Poseidon. I don't know, I guess the are 77 or 75% water. I just feel like, you know, Florida Peninsula. I uh, feel like I like water. So I guess I would choose Poseidon.